Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the newest edition of the ESV Study Bible in Buffalo Leather from Crossway. Okay, I'm really excited about this review today. I, I, I mentioned when I unboxed the ESV Study Bible in Buffalo Leather that I have three copies of it. So these are the three copies I have. Um, the ESV Study Bible, if you don't know, it came out in 2008 from Crossway, and it's sold over a million copies since then. It's just a really um, well-designed, popular study tool if you want to dig deep as you're reading and studying Scripture. So this black copy in the middle was my first edition of this. I got it early on in 2008 or 2009 when the Bible first came out, and it was really helpful for me as a young man in my 20s studying the Bible and trying to dig a little bit deeper into Scripture, and, and this was really, really helpful. At the bottom down here, I have the Evangelical Bible Exclusive Edition in Antique Marble Brown Goatskin. This was a limited edition that EvangelicalBible.com did with this in this color and blue, and I traded for this recently with someone else. I haven't really cracked into this one that much, but I really am glad to have it. I'm going to start using it more uh, in the coming weeks as I do a, a specific Bible study that I'm going to use this one for. And then this little guy is the ESV Study Bible personal size, obviously a little bit smaller. I got this for Becca. It's a cloth over board edition. I got this for like 15 bucks on Amazon. Really great Bible that we love having around the house. So obviously I'm a fan of the ESV Study Bible. I think it's a great tool. And, and what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to review the new one the Buffalo Leather Edition, but I'm also going to use this, since I've never done a deep dive into the ESV Study Bible, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to go over all of the specs and all of the features of the Study Bible. This one is basically identical to some of these other ones, it just has a different cover on it. So I'm going to review the, this edition, but I'm also going to review the ESV Study Bible as a whole. You know, my goal with Bible Review Blog is to help you find a Bible that's right for you. That's why I create these videos, that's why I do reviews, and it's awesome when I hear from people. I got a comment from someone this morning on YouTube that said, hey, I watched this video, I think it was from one of the Thomas Nelson Bibles I did. Hey, I watched this video and I ordered it, and it's perfect. It's exactly what I was looking for, and that, that means the world to me when I hear that, and I definitely think that, I, I would say that I think everyone needs to have a great study Bible in their library, just because it's so helpful to have something like this to really help you dig in and study the Scripture in a meaningful way, and it's helpful to have the, the expertise of Bible scholars and teachers to really dig in and learn more about the Bible, and I really love the ESV Study Bible for that. So without further ado, let's dive in. This is the ESV Study Bible in Buffalo Leather. Okay, quick look at the box. It's a really nice, full-color, glossy, two-piece box. You got all the information there, ESV Study Bible. ESV Study Bible, Buffalo Leather, Deep Brown. On the back, you have all the different specs and things like this. I remember picking this up, the original version, and like reading all about this in the, the Christian bookstore in Omaha that I used to go visit, and I was like, I've got to have one of those. I've got to have one. So here's the Bible. Again, this is the Buffalo Leather Edition. They've been doing a bunch of new Buffalo Leather editions in the last year. So you see that real nice, there you go, pebbly grain. It's got a stiffness, but also a softness to it. It's kind of a mediumness, a medium uh, texture and, and softness feel. You do get a perimeter stitch around the outside. That's kind of what this is doing, is it's kind of upping it from some of their normal stuff. You get the raised spine hubs on the spine. So there's four raised spine hubs, really big, bold, study Bible, ESV. You're not gonna, you're not, gonna not know which Bible this is when it's on your shelf. Really, really clean. You do get gold art gilding. Really gentle there. Now it's a paste down liner. I noted that it's a kind of a synthetic end sheets here that's paste down. And one of the, my comments on the unboxing video is it's it's not necessarily. Sometimes you see the edge lined ones for the big. I'll show you the the premium edition over here. It, this one actually lays really flat, and it's got a Smithstone binding, so I think it's going to be a really really sturdy Bible over time. I don't. I'm not really worried about the construction. It looks really really nice and simple, and if they had edge lined it, you wouldn't be able to get it for this price. You'd have to go up into the next price point. So um, overall, from the outside, it just looks really, really sharp. As far as size goes, I mentioned in the unboxing video that it felt huge, and some people asked, is it bigger? And the answer is no. It's six and a half inches wide at the text block, it's nine and a quarter inches tall, and it's about 2.25 inches thick. It's very similar. So let me pull this over here to the side. I'm going to bring in my original ESV study Bible. This is the Genuine Leather Edition from 2008 or 2009. So you see it's very similar in overall size and the look and the feel of it. In fact, it's the exact same page numbers. They, they didn't, um, when they, 
update the translation like they did an ESV update in 2011. The last one was in 2016. I think they, they changed some of the features of the Bible. Like if you look in here, like you see there's a vertical line there that's not in the new ones. It's more aesthetic. I think they updated some of the notes throughout, but I mean, both Bibles end on page 2,750. So that's, that's where they're the exact same content going in, but this is just a, a genuine leather. It doesn't have all the nice little touches, the raised spine hubs, that sort of thing. But this one's healthy. That's what the, that's what the art gilding looks like after 12 years of just using it all the time and, and beating it up. And I mean, so then you jump over here to the premium edition. So this is evangelicalbible.com did uh, an exclusive edition in this lovely brown as well as blue. So then you're getting the guild line. This was printed and bound by Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands, and it is slightly thicker paper. So it's a 31 GSM paper, whereas these ones, the new ones, are 30 GSM. So they actually, I think, might be a little bit thicker. But again, the the insides of these two Bibles are both the 2016 edition ESV text. It's, it's identical as far as it goes. It's just the quality of the paper, the binding, and things like that. This is just an upgraded uh, Bible super premium version. Crossway makes a black edition of the ESV Study Bible, an heirloom, the, the ESV heirloom, and then basically evangelicalbible.com took that and did a brown version and a blue version to kind of upgrade it. But um, really, really beautiful, kind of next level, but you have to pay for that. And then last but not least, they make the ESV Study Bible Personal Edition. So this is just a mini-me version. And the, the only thing I noted was that this one has a shorter concordance. The whole Bible is about 50 pages shorter, and it, it's identical until you get to the concordance. And then the concordance is slightly shorter in the smaller personal size one. But other than that, it's just a mini-me version of this guy. So, okay. Let's... Oh, oh, I also failed to mention this Buffalo Edition comes with one brown matching... Uh, ribbon and as you can see it's a really dark brown it almost looks black in some of the photos and things like that but it's a very 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 deep brown so opening this up get this moved over just a little bit you get several blank sheets up here and then you get the presentation page marriages births and adoptions title page very 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 kind of classic look and feel so here is our copyright page ESV text from 2016, ESV study Bible. So you see this one was printed in China by R.R. Donnelly. The original one I had, that black one, was printed by R.R. Donnelly here in the United States. And then the premium one from evangelicalbible.com is printed in the Netherlands by um, Royal Youngblood. So you get right here at the front, the table of contents. You're not just getting the scripture books, you're getting the backgrounds, the illustrations, the abbreviations, all that sort of stuff. This Bible is just chock full. The, the quote from them was that um, they want you to understand the Bible in a deeper way. That's the purpose of this Bible. Um, and I mean, it's, it's just, the scholarship is crazy. So there's a really great introduction about the ESV study Bible. So they're talking about the overall um, purpose and all of those things about what this Bible does, what it has in it. Here you have the contributors. So uh, the general editor was Wayne Grudem. The theological editor was J.I. Packer. J.I. Packer said that he thinks the ESV Bible, study Bible is probably going to be one of the most important things he's ever worked on um, for the kingdom of God. Old Testament editor John Collins, New Testament editor Thomas Schreiner, Justin Taylor, the project director, and then Lane Dennis, the executive editor. So there's a massive team of 95 scholars, professors, uh, teachers of the Bible who worked on this, and you get all of this information in here. One of the things people say about the ESV Study Bible is, and they note this in the, in the preface to talking about the ESV Study Bible, they are an evangelical group of people. They uh, lean into the Reformed, the Reformation tradition. And so, yes, sometimes when you get into the study notes and certain articles that they have, it does kind of lean into that evangelical Reformed perspective, but that's because that's the, the way that Crossway operates and what they do. For the most part, I have found that they, they play... In the, those difficult moments, you can go find the specific areas that people disagree in about the Bible, that they try to do those in an equi equitable way where they, they, they say, hey, people see this from different sides, but this is how we interpret these scriptures. And so I think that's a fair way to do it. And overall, I think you can use this Bible 99% of the time, and you're going to not really run into a lot of stuff that... that would cause you to, to raise your eyebrow or anything like that. It's just a really solid Bible. So you get all these articles and things like that, the theology of the Old Testament leaning in, the date of the Exodus. So even here before the Bible starts, they're just kind of setting you up for what you're reading in the Old Testament. Y'all, you, you need to read that just to, to kind of preface your, if you're going to study through the Bible. And then every book of the Bible has an introduction. So here we get an introduction. And you see right here, 
I'm not opening the Bible all the way out, but I just press it a little bit and it lays flat, which is a really great benefit of this Bible. So you get an introduction to Genesis, and then the actual text of the Bible starts on page 49, and you get two verses. So that's what it looks like, the, the text and followed by the notes. And I'm going to open it up one more page. So you can see most pages you're going to get about a half page of a single column text. With This is a nine-point font. Y'all, the paper here is very opaque. It looks great. I mean, you're, you have to go as thin as possible. This is a 30 GSM uh, thin opaque paper. Uh, and, and you can see some of it on the other side, but this is such a massive Bible. You got to pick and choose. And I think it's really easy to read. So you get um, the textual notes here at the bottom of the page. You get the cross-references on the inner gutter. I really like that. There's 80,000 cross-references in the Bible. And then you have this thin line, and then this is the study notes. So there are 20,000 unique study notes. So, for example, some of them is a single verse. So there's Genesis 121, a single verse, uh, a note about that. Here's the section, three or four verses right there. So they do different things, and it's all giving you the context, the insight, the the Hebrew words, the Greek words in the New Testament, it's just, it's a study Bible. It's giving you, so what they're, they say their intent is, they want you to read the scripture up here. They want you to start with the text, and then they want you to make your way down here and learn some new stuff about it, stuff that might not have stood out to you. And then they want you to go back to the text. So begin and end with the actual text of scripture and really soak in it, then get some insight into it, and then go back to it. I love that. I love that it's just helping you understand and and love the Bible in a deeper way. And this is the format. So I said 20,000 notes, 80,000 cross-references. If I keep going here, we're going to see full-color maps. There are 240 full-color maps scattered throughout the Bible. There are, there's a set of maps at the end of the Bible, but there's also full-color maps spread throughout. So here you're getting into the story of Noah, and you, you get to see where they were. I love that, visually just kind of helping us out. There's so there's 240 maps, there's over 200 charts, there's these illustrations, so as you're reading a story, you can kind of get the lay of the land or um, different, different aspects of things. So all the way throughout, charts in here, 200 plus charts, 240 maps, illustrations. Um, it's, just, it's just full. There's, it's all the way full, full of stuff. They use some slight uh, color accents on the page to set it off, but other than that, it's just a black text. Um, Getting in here to the, the sections of poetry, you do get a verse-by-verse -verse format in the poetic books. Really beautiful. Same thing down here with the, the line at the bottom going into the notes, the cross-references on the inside of the page. And it just kind of marches through the entire thing. But y'all, this Bible is just so full and so dense of ways to help you study. It's absolutely fantastic. They also, let me keep moving through here, Getting into the New Testament. So before you get to the New Testament, <clears throat> kind of separating the two, um, the two testaments, you have an article called the time. There's background to the New Testament, the time between the testaments. So they're talking about that 400 year gap between when the Old Testament was was written and the New Testament. You get the history here. You get all look at that a timeline. That's a great map of the Herodian dynasty or a, a infographic about the Herodian dynasty about the Roman Empire, the Reco roman world. It's all setting up the context of the New Testament and what was happening and why um, Jesus coming at the time that he did uh, was the perfect timing, God's timing for this to happen. And then you get into the New Testament. They give you an article about the theology of the New Testament. They give you uh, an introduction, the date of Jesus' crucifixion, reading the Gospels and Acts. There's all these great articles that are kind of sandwiched um, between the two Testaments. And then you get your intro to Matthew and, and setting you up for the specific book introduction, followed by getting into the text. So really, really beautiful. And then, so those articles before the Old Testament, before the New Testament, and then there's 160 pages of articles that come at the end of the New Testament. So if I get here to the end of Revelation, we jump into articles and resources. So there's 160 pages of articles where it gets into God's plan of salvation. There's a lot of theology in here. There's a lot of history, biblical doctrine. There's um, different uh, groups in Christianity. It gets into lots of different ethical issues. There's just a, a lot in here. Interpretation of the Bible, Bible translations, all that sort of stuff. There's just, it's 160 pages where you can get lost in um, the history of the Bible and theology. So it's the biblical, it's theological, it's really, really, really well. There's a lot of information about the languages and Old Testament quotes and New Testament quotes, and it just really digs deep. It's it's chock full. Can you tell that I think that this Bible 
touched everything. It's just, it gets really deep into it. It, it, it knows what it's doing and it's, it's marching through and giving you a really robust, um, this is why I say that people need to have a study Bible because it's just a really dense, beautiful thing to have that you can do a deep dive into. So at the end of all these articles, you get a concordance. This is a massive, exhaustive concordance. It's very extensive. And then at the end of the concordance, you get a daily Bible reading plan. If you want to read through the Bible, you get a set of maps, slightly glossier cardstock. There's your colophon with all the information about the Bible and then a set of glossy maps, followed by more of those blank, thick end sheets to kind of anchor the Bible. But overall, I mean, look at that. I just flipped here, Golgotha and the Temple Mount. Just really uh, immersing yourself in the scriptures, studying deeply everywhere you go. There's just so much, so much to study. And, and I think they've done a really excellent job of, of giving you everything you need to, to study the text, to learn it more deeply, to to really um, immerse yourself. Yeah, I said the word immerse. I think I think that's it. It's just immerse yourself in the Bible and 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 invite the Lord to speak to you through that and to really understand it in a better way. And I think something like this is a great tool um, for us as Christians to, or even if you're not a Christian and you just want to know what the Bible is all about and study it and, and get a really good, robust look at it. This is a fantastic. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but this. This Buffalo Leather Edition, out of all of the Bibles I have, this lays the flattest. It's wide open. It looks beautiful. It's easy to read. It, you know, put this on a table like this and go to town. One more time, 9-point font, 30 GSM paper, 6.5 tall, 9.5 wide. It's got a sewn binding. It looks great. It feels great. And then it's chocked full with all of those, those study Bible features. So there you have it. That's the ESV Study Bible in Buffalo Leather from Crossway. I really like this edition. I like what it does. Obviously, I love the ESV Study Bible as a tool for digging deeper when we're studying Scripture. And this is a really nice new edition. I like these Buffalo editions that Crossway has been doing lately. So definitely let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Um, whether you have just now heard about the ESV Study Bible or you are one of the millions of people who already own a copy and are using it, let me know what you think in the comments. Definitely check out BibleReviewBlog.com. I've got a full write-up of the ESV Study Bible, more great photos. And visit us on Facebook and Instagram, just at Bible Review Blog. Great community where we're chatting about the Bible. We recently did a post where I asked people about their favorite Bible translations. And people were chiming in and letting one another know and talking back and forth with one another. It was really, really fun. And while you're here on YouTube, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great Bible content just like this. I have some fun videos coming out later this week and a bunch more planned for the rest of the month. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.